Hi guys, welcome back to reading the word and understanding the Bible verse. Today in 2 Kings, I read chapter 8 and chapter 9. And what I find interesting is chapter 8, when um, Gehazar is talking to the king of Israel. And, the, and he's telling the king how this boy who died, um, Elijah came and laid down on him and prayed, and the little boy came alive. And so the woman, um, Elijah told the woman to go go away for seven years because there's going to be a famine that lasts for seven years. So she went to the Philistines, and then she comes back to the king exactly as Gehazel is talking to the king about her son. And the king of the king of Israel says to her um, to restore everything, to restore not only the land that she has, but the money that she lost for seven years. So she got everything back. But what I like about this is um, God said, famine and last for seven years." Now, what I like about this is it draws all the way back to Egypt when the Israelites were back in Egypt, and they had famine. The Pharaoh had a night. The Pharaoh had a dream of seven good years of famine and seven bad years of, of famine, and that's what I like about this. It draws back to Pharaoh's dream and what the Israelites had to live through during that time, and to what Egypt had to live through also. So that's what I like about the story. It, it brings back all the way from the beginning times of where Israel was still in Egypt. And they haven't fled out of Egypt yet. So that's what I like about the story is the word seven years and the word um, phantom bring together. It just shows you of how strong the Bible is and how important it is to read every day because it's not just knowledge for us to learn, but we understand this and we get to grow closer to God as we read it every day. So that's what I love about reading every day about the Bible. So I hope you guys have a good day. Bless day. Love you guys and God bless.